now is the time of year you would expect to see bees a buzzing in Colorado, but you may have noticed things aren't as they should be. So Dominic Garcia asked a bee expert, where are all of our precious pollinators? Usually this time of year we're out covering bee swarms. You can find them anywhere, in trees, the side of houses. We found one on the DU campus, but this year is different. And if you think you're having a hard time finding honey, you're not alone. It's been anything but a busy bee season for Greg McMahon. Last year we had over 80, 100 calls almost. This year we're at 50. Greg owns Rocky Mountain Bee Removal, and usually he's running all over the metro area removing swarms. He says in March it started out great, but then in April a snowstorm hit. It lasted for three or four days where everything was frozen solid. If it was only one day, everybody would have been fine, but it froze all the blooms, took away all the food for bees, that the bees needed to reproduce. So that means a big impact on honey. It's going to make our honey production just drop to the floor this year. I mean, everybody I've talked to, nobody has honey. Greg says swarm seasons fluctuate year to year, and this year, not all hope is lost. I saw this weekend, we're expecting up to an inch of rain in some spots. That's going to bolster our flowers back up again, and we're going to cross our fingers that our bees are going to take advantage of that and make honey this year. So if you do happen to find a bee swarm, what you should do is call the Bee Swarm Hotline. It is a real thing. We have all the information at cbsdenver.com. In Denver, Dominic Garcia, covering Colorado First.